Well, and you see some full screen, yes, but again, I don't think Mr. Javola Hartmann, in fact, has a lot left either, mostly infantry and some machine guns. But what is this? He's get preparing for getting the Tiger, which could certainly do a lot of damage, but so far, a small lull in the battle as everything is being prepared. Looks like the Tiger 205, which means certainly the SS Schwerer Panzerabteilung 501. Or one hundred eight hundred nine. I can't really exactly remember, but certainly the SS had their own heavy armor battalion separate from the regular army. In fact, during the initial handing out of Tigers, the first Panzer divisions had their own Tiger companies. Those were later redacted and turned into the more independent heavy Panzer companies. But those SS divisions weren't really keen on giving them up, so in some cases they actually just decided to keep them and not hand them over. Later on they did lose them as they of course wouldn't really get any replacement, that's certainly some things that can happen. And of course showing that some divisions can be a bit stubborn and egoistic, egotistical. Foskren is moving about, still getting manpower for the Tiger, a wager. Certainly the Tiger would really be able to lay the final nail in the coffin for the Americans. who are certainly not looking good, and getting a tank depot. Not entirely sure that will help, perhaps some more infantry and anti-tank guns would be of help. But we shall have to see, of course it depends if he has the resources for it. Anti-tank gun again being recruited by engineers, again that's not the best move, it's bad economics. Airborne not moving about, not really trying to see some territory, do a bit of harassment. Instead, they're just standing around with their recoilless rifles. G17 moving out alongside some engineers. And we see folks getting his Knights Cross soldiers apparently waiting for something, most likely that Tiger. In which case, they'll probably be trying to move here and possibly swing him through right there. And there we go Tiger 205 with Hauptmann Foss from the Tiger East campaign and, of course, the Market Garden campaign. Very nice character relic put together there, I think. Charging through there, leading his glorious tiger. Very nice piece of hardware. And there we go, finally putting a bit of pressure to the west. We have 200 points. Airborne seizing territories, T-17 acting as a bit of local fire support. Nothing happening in the base, but there we go. Something coming out of the tank depot. And, and the Knights Cross soldiers and force grenades are on the move. We shall have to see what happening ha is happening. Tiger apparently not doing much, setting down another machine gun emplacement right in the same spot. My goodness, Captain GI. That's not the brightest idea, but getting a Sherman machine gun emplacement, getting absolutely horrifically flanked as a large assault force moving in MP40s and assault rifles, really cutting down anything there, and that's mostly engineers doing a lot of terrible damage. Right from Airborne and Sherman and that T-17 joining in now the opening fire and the Tiger is on the spot. Knights Cross Holders taking a bit of damage but they are firing away at those Airborne. Sherman already down to half health. Airborne are slowly being folded. Assault grenades going off. Oh goodness gracious that's a lot of damage. And now those Airborne are getting positively slaughtered. Sherman and T-17 only things left. T-17 gaining metrancy too, but just as it does, the Sherman goes up in smoke. Fucking bleep. Tanking, although I'm not sure why it doesn't censor out the fucking. But there you go, and I pardon my language. But he's certainly not the best sportsman there. And the Tiger moves in for the final kill, it looks like. Will it get the shot off? No, the T-17 barely seems to be getting away, but still. Nothing really left though for Mr. GI, only that armored car. Tiger missing quite spectacularly. G17 backing a bit. And we will have to see what happens, but looks like it might run into those German troops. No, Tiger got finally managing a hit. Barely anything left for that T17 despite all those sandbags. And main gun is destroyed. Anti tank gun being dropped. Firing away at the Tiger, and T-17 is gone, that air anti-tank gun is in the arc of fire off that. MG-42 getting suppressed and pinned by a strafing run, but now absolutely nothing left for the American forces. They have lost all 
things and Mr. GI apparently being a very terrible sportsman besides strategist is swearing very unpleasantly. So what can we learn from this? Well if you're going heavily on infantry again get a medic station or a medic bunker I really feel he co probably could have survived longer if he had that other bits of course don't throw your Stu 42s right into a throng of anti-armor equipped infantry as that ended up really badly on several occasions you really want them behind your infantry supporting them as that was really the role of Stooks and Stu 42 supporting infantry and they weren't really doing that they were just charging in for the fatherland and getting wrecked for the fatherland not really the best use of them. Of course, interesting use of T-17s, not entirely bad, but he really should have gotten more infantry and possibly some support weapons. Mines would really also have helped him a great deal, but there wasn't much of that either. Anyhow, so I hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, why not subscribe or tell your friends, and if you didn't, well, why not send in a replay of your own? This is Imperial Danes saying, do try to stay classy. Cheers.